What's good, folks? Welcome to another episode of AK Tap Room. Today, we'll be doing a review of Blanton's Single Barrel. I'm Murdoch tapping in. I'm Josh tapping in. I'm Brent tapping in. And like Murdoch said, we're doing... Blanton's. Yep, yeah, Blanton's. And, I mean, we got to do it. Everybody's always trying to find them. They can't because... Well, they're delicious. Huh? Yeah, they're just one of those allocated bottles. Yes, it seems like absolutely. everywhere. Absolutely. They, they, or they're, they come in at 46.5% ABV, yep. 93 proof. What uh, what letter do we have here? What are we dealing oh, with now? Up for... on top, we got the letter O for Ooh, today. In this set, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. letter O. Let's see what we got. Yeah. That's where we finish here. I'll hold on to that one. Yeah, so this is one that All right. we already finished. It is the letter L. It's for sale if you guys want to buy it. <laughs> and Used by all three of us. Yeah, yes. yeah. So this is what I find funny about these. They're, they come in at like I think I paid. Says on the bottom, Murdoch. I think I said it seventy or seventy-five. Seventy-five, I think. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. So that's what we pay it for here retail. We don't. There's not really. A, fortunately, there's not really a secondary here. beautiful bottle. market here. Yeah. They do a great job with the bottle. I mean, it's it's yeah. that blend. You're gonna know what it is when you see the the jockey on yeah. top and the different stances. And, and it looks like you got a couple balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're Couple's doing something here because I was looking at like every time you see them, all of them have like the tabs. Yep. The balls hanging from behind the behind yeah. the horse. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like they're like I said, a oh metaphor. that's what that is yeah, yeah. it's like a metaphor for brands or something <laughs> take the you got to take life by the balls yeah to, buffalo trace you, puts it out yeah. when you're uncorking it yeah Ooh, they've yeah. got to, they've got a lot of interest in this and surprisingly enough uh, they've got a lot of uh, stuff that they pump over in the european market and uh in europe i shouldn't say european market i should say japan not your oh yeah market. in japan there's like a red version that uh, they have and uh, i've seen it i've never tried it oh uh, come on it sounds pretty cool but uh ooh, oh oh whatever <laughs> there you go it smells good anyway. let's get into it yeah oh yeah some glasses yeah that. that's pretty cool the stopper is always a little bit uh nicely weighted and Lens does a good job with their marketing yeah. so good on you guys ooh. oh well, let's let's get down. Look at that color. Oh, a little heavy handed on that last one. Whoa, whoa! He's trying to take advantage of me. Yeah. <laughs> nice amber color. Let's let's get into the nosing, guys. Alrighty. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful. You get oak. Oh yeah, big time. Vanilla. Vanilla, cinnamon. Cinnamon, cherries. A little bit of cherries. Yeah, I'm gonna let the alcohol die out. Ooh. Got that vanilla wafer smell to it. Yeah. Kinda. Oh, there you go. That's a good way to describe it. There's a little little char yeah, in there. there a little tiny bit of char. Yeah. Oh yeah. That oak. Yeah, sound, that it oak smells vanilla. very inviting. Yeah, and I get that char on the end towards the end of the nose. All swirl right. it around. Yeah, swirl it around, aerate it a little bit. Yeah. All right, let's go in uh, to the palate. Easy drinker. All day long. Mm. There's uh, sweet honey. Really smooth. Sweet honey, you get that uh, cinnamon. There's that a lot oak. of spice. There's that oak. Um, yeah, there's I a... definitely pick up the oak right away. I get mm -hmm. that sweetness. So yeah, like you, like you described, that's the first thing that hit my mouth. Well, it helps you drive it's like it, honey. Yeah, yeah. it's like it just drives it. It's like when it's coming back. Mm -hmm. kind like of I got, I get that oak. I switched from the oak and it went back to mm -hmm. sweetness. Get yeah. some type of pepper. Finish. It might be like it opens up after you swallow it. There's a cinnamon and there's like a there's a zest in there. I'm gonna go back for a second one. Cheers. Mm. It's like an orange zest. It's like a little bit of a. Yeah, that's probably. It's probably a little orange yeah. zest in there. A little citrus. Mm -hmm. A little bit of citrus. A little bit of fruity notes. Very, very good. Easy drinker. If you've had Blanton's before, you know that uh, it's an easy drinker. It's very good. There's a reason why these things are flying off the shelves. There's a reason why we cash this already. It's uh, it's definitely something that's very tasty. The finish so, is, is a decent finish. Yeah, and there's a lot of it. Well, if you get bored when you're drinking, you can Oh, always, you can do the info. Yeah, yeah, start reading it all. Yeah, it's got a... <clears throat> I'll leave that for you guys whenever you get your own. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty smooth, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging it, for sure. They do a great job. Very, this is relaxing... Uh, it is. Here. Well, it's something we're rolling right into spring, summertime. Right, yeah. This is something that I could see, uh, you know, having some friends over and having a barbecue or something and go and get yourself uh, a little bit of some Blanton's. 
But uh, truth be told, yeah. uh, it doesn't have to be a barbecue for me <laughs> to pull out some weapons. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm not usually bringing this to a barbecue unless I'm a barbecue. Well, you water. better bring it over to my place. <laughs> it probably goes good with those briskets you made. Both oh, of y'all yeah. Made. yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice and tasty. So. <laughs> Actually, I see that. you cook five, three? Uh, we each cooked two, two. apiece. Yeah. And then, uh, actually, yeah. by the way, I didn't get to thank you yesterday because you rolled out. But yeah. They were on point. Well, yeah. good, man. Both, good. both of you guys. Yeah. Good, good. Appreciate when, that. When we're not doing this, we're out uh, smoking meats and uh, <laughs> having barbecues and stuff like that. All the fun stuff. Let's roll into our, our rating because that finish okay. was, was pretty good. It was solid a solid finish, I would say, right? Yeah, and I'm... Kinda, I like it. I like it. I'm Sweet. digging this for sure. It's sweet. Let's get into our uh, rating. All right. Okay. You want me to start it? Or yeah, you can start this. Okay. Time. I'll, I'll always start it. I'll head it off. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give Blanton's for, and my bourbons, probably, for me, it's uh, it's probably an 8.7, eight, 8.8. Eight. I like it. It's good. It tastes good. I don't understand why. I mean, it's allocated just because they only can produce so many. I understand mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. I think I enjoyed the Russells, which I have. And I, when I, that's what I was drinking when I was smoking those briskets. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I had uh, some Russells. That was what I reached for, not not my Blanton's, but yeah. So, so I'm gonna go eight eight. I'll just go on the high side. Okay, I like eight, the eight. I like the eight eight, and I like the high side. I think that Blanton's definitely deserves a place on the mantle for me. So I'm gonna go with the eight eight. I like it. I think it's. Uh, Rounded enough for me for a bourbon. I'm, I'm typically a scotch person, but it's an easy drinker, so I'm going 8 8. So. I'd say, uh, you know what? Keep it 8 8. Yeah, I can't find nothing wrong board. with it, you know, across the board. It's a solid drinker. Yeah. It really is a solid drinker. So, Blends, have hats off to you. You did a great job uh, doing this. So, yeah. With no that, yeah. Tastes but, great. Uh, so, shout out to my homie James Weiss. Oh, there you go. For building me this big ass hammer. Uh, we're gonna go around the room, and oh. if this is a pass, it gets a knock. So, on me, it gets a knock at an 8 8. I'm we're all green right. on this, all right. Uh, and as Murdoch explained, I'm to shatter the bottle. No, I'm yeah, <laughs> it's a pass. It gets so a pass. This is like a, it gets a pass, an aluminum gavel. Yes, oh, yes, Ping! it gets a pass. More yeah, than evil toys coming. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'd shoot lightning. Right. <laughs> Get some free electricity. Exactly. Yeah, how about some uh, free likes and subscribes? Mm -hmm. I'll go for that. And with that said, let's go ahead and wrap this video. Well, folks, thank you for reviewing our episode of Blanton's Single Barrel. I'm Murdoch tapping out. I'm Josh tapping out. I'm Brent tapping out. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that follow button, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, and we'll see you again.